but Sunday, uh, the last few weeks have been, oh, it's really hard to describe. We're live on Facebook now. Keep going. We're live now. I was just saying, the last few weeks have been really kind of hard to describe. I think Amanda put it really well in a post <clears throat> some time ago, a week ago or something. The gist of it, she said too, was like so much, so much data coming in, so much information, really hard to put into into words. Yeah. And we weren't meant to, I got, we're not meant to be getting it conceptually. Yeah. Um, But then there was a lot going on in a sense energetically, but yeah, just not, not in the conscious mind, not, it wasn't like I was disconnected from my team or all of that. It was, it was all fine, but it was just a lot of, a lot, lot, lot coming in, hardly any of it meant to be brought up or filter up into the conceptual mind. And then Sunday morning, I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday morning, I woke up from a dream of one, one of my dear soul sisters, one of my beloved dolphin girl. And it was so clear in the connection. And I woke up and that was so beautiful. And I woke up just, whoa, and I felt really good because I haven't been that well these weeks. No, I woke, no, I just look at just general, you know, energies and a bit this this fluy virus thing that's going around for months. And we keep, we keep, Everybody, we keep redosing one another, <laughs> um, but not not too bad. Just not not great either. But that's okay. It's all part of it. it's mostly energetic. But that morning, I just woke up. I'd had my heart sun here for a couple of nights, which is always good. We always have fun. And that morning, I woke up from that dream, and there was such clarity, and I felt really good. I just woke up, and I felt really good. Whereas the last few mornings before that, I'd woke up feeling quite slammed and achy and exhausted. And felt really clear. And suddenly I had like really clear information. Like it was like, you know, a lot of what come in started to expand and unpack. And then almost immediately I had first Morgan really strongly in my field and you as well. And it was like there was an energetic conversation going on something. And I just had the feeling then in all these weeks, I was like, it wouldn't have been time for us to have a conversation. It just wasn't, it just wouldn't have fitted. I had nothing to say. It wouldn't. And then suddenly I had the feeling like, oh, we're probably going to have a conversation soon. And I got sooner rather than later. And then I, Morgan was so strong. And I I felt like I bet I hear from Morgan today. And I got (laughs) up and turned my phone on. And there was a message from Morgan saying, would you like to have a conversation with Todd in July? So, you know, that happened. Um, anyway, that that was, and I felt really good and really clear. And then yesterday I woke up in the morning and I woke up just slammed and exhausted and achy again. And I kind of had a day on the couch and there was some really deep, something really deep and ancient moving within, some deep processing. Um, yeah. That's all I really want to say about the moment. But and then today I woke up feeling not not too bad. But I, I it's going to be interesting because I there's no mm, there's a whole lot and nothing. So I'm interested to see where you're at and what you say because I've got no idea mm-hmm. as I usually don't. But really today I feel like I feel like there's something very deep, and I feel like it's not just in me, in many of us, in the collective something very very deep yeah i feel that <clears throat> I, i've been feel, i've been feeling it for the last uh i don't even know two three days at least but this morning in particular it's not any, anything jumping out of me you know i mean there's been like a frequency of uh detaching from identities and i've seen watch all that happen like with kids and family friends whatever but Today, I don't know. There is a Morgan mentioned to me that she was talking. Well, she was feeling like this ache in her heart, or pain, or ache. Uh, last two three days, mine doesn't feel like a, a pain. It feels like an ache. Like when you go down a, a, a roller coaster and you leave your stomach behind, it's like that. It's like it's like I, I guess it's expansion. Seems like it's expansion, but I, again, I don't know specifically what it is. It just feels, it feels huge though. And it does feel ancient. Yeah. Yeah. An ache, yeah. An ache, an ache, I'd say an ache in a way more. And yeah, phew, it's. 
Oh, I just reminded that last Sunday, not this one just gone, the one before, I did a BQH, you know, Beyond Quantum Healing session because I do that too, but I haven't done that for ages and ages. And I did one with my dear soul sister, Stormy, who I think is watching now. And that was really interesting, that whole session and the energy of it and what came through. And that's been a part of, and then already the next day or so that, you know, moves on, that was different. But yesterday I, I realized a lot of the energy I was feeling was related and similar to that. And some of that came through was to do with, a lot to do with the trees, they're, they're, how they so much carry the web of interconnectedness and information and help support the human collective grid. It was very ancient and there was the word came through to do, and the word was the Alvain. Oh, what is that? Well, I got, it was like the Alvin, it's very ancient Alvin. Oh melted druidic kind of connection but but this this is this is you know it's ancient and deep and yet it's it's completely relevant to now you know it's it, it's it's in it, a lot to do with the breath but that was what i was feeling yesterday so i'm, I'm just trying to find words because so hard for words for this it, <clears throat> for me well, personally it's a lot to do with the last veil of separation from the beloved, the ache in the heart is to do with the grief, but within the grief is already the beauty. There is a, there's a layer of reality where the separation is real, but ultimately it's illusion. But I feel like, I feel like there is the beauty in just love in the connectedness and that's that's the best way I can put it that, that 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 without making a big deal this is the last thing this is the whatever but I just yeah. have I have a sense there's been layers of that peeling off and and the other thing I'm getting with this and then I, I want to let you say what you're getting on it but one of the essence thing that came through a few weeks ago that I'm prompted that's relevant right now with this is that I had very clear messages that which surprised me that they said that we're moving into, and they kind of said in July, what was already moving into it, but it's very much happening now. And I, and, and I want to complete on this because people might hang on the word, but they said there is going to be quite a level of separation. Wow. And this is to do with the things people have talked about, like the splitting of the earths and all that. But when I said surprising for me, because that wasn't really, to me, it was all about the merging. But what they said was, don't mistake this, they said the, the, the separation is at a certain level, but it's actually a part of the merging and that it's temporary. Yeah. And that's what I feel like we're in. In, in one sense, we're purging out the separation and coming into union, but there's a certain level where, oh, it's so hard to, to find the words for this. There's a certain level where there is a, there is a level of, of separation, but it's not, and this is what they were stressing, even if you look at it or could put it into some sort of words like, those that it might be more dimensional separation and those that are still because of their soul path and purpose more focused in still more of the matrix or 3d and those that are moving more outside of that yeah. but what I'm stressing about it is it is in no way shape or form some kind of we passed you failed where ahead you're behind what they yeah. stress is that those those that are in a sense are are functioning more and operating more from um, the old matrix world are staying there and helping anchor that because if it all happened at once, there would be complete chaos. Yeah. So they're 
playing their role in helping hold and anchor those energies to merge the rest of that and bring the rest of that through and everybody through with it. Yeah. While, while some of us are more dancing in the newer energies. So even though at one level there might seem to be more of a, a splitting or a separation with that, it, it's actually a part of the merging, a temporary part stage in the process and and everybody's playing their part and role in that. So that, yeah. that's there's, there's a lot more to that, but that's about the best way I could say it. So I'm interested to see what you, you know, what you get on that or feel on that or, yeah. No, I'm with you on that. Let me just tell everybody too, uh, there's some, something going on with Facebook. If you keep getting knocked off, you can go to the Zoom link and watch in the Zoom room where we haven't had any problems. Uh, no, that all resonates. I'm sitting here uh, very nauseated and uh, not feeling too good, <laughs> all of a sudden disoriented. But I realize it's not you. Uh, and as I'm looking at these comments when you're talking about the heart, people are basically echoing, uh, and I won't go through all the comments, but something's happening. Um, what I'm picking up on, as I understand it right now, it's the energy of everybody here and, and the congruence of what everybody's feeling, which is kind of hard to explain, but it definitely has something to do with the expansion of the heart. Uh, and I think the other thing that uh, a lot of people have talked about the two earths or the earth splitting or whatever. I don't see it as a literal thing. I mean, hard to use words, but uh, what I am picking up is that like two sets of rules, like there is a group that's, that's on one end of the yin yang. That's basically no longer, um, uh, constricted by the matrix laws rules regulations borders contracts uh, social norms and all that it's actually the splits actually uh, occurring where the other ones will, will abide by it so to speak and I agree there's no separation it's just part of the polarities playing out in order to identify a more clear uh, zero point you know as we transition but uh, yeah, I felt that. I felt like a huge influx, and I'm not one of those that normally does it, but I can feel uh, the um, alignment of uh, the reality that you're describing. So it's uh, it's interesting because <clears throat> then you think, okay, what do I do? And all I can think of five minutes ago is how am I going to make it through this show? I need to lay down, you know. But uh, but I surrendered, and then it's kind of moved, and some clarity comes in, and some. Uh, data comes in. I just told you what I received, so I don't. I don't know. I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the I don't know. You know, like how do you understand? By understanding, you won't understand it. You will understand it after it happens, maybe, but you're not going to understand it as it's happening. So all I can think of is surrendering and allowing uh, and having faith. You know, the transitive verb to trust and believe and just keep going because I, I feel like we're really being supported in this. Oh, totally. And I, yeah, look, the whole a bit, I'm a little, not that nauseous, but funny. My stomach was funny yesterday and today. I, I don't need to see the Schumann charts to know when there's big solar geomagnetic going, geomagnetic going on. In fact, just before we got on, I checked Facebook and I saw that my friend Danny Arnold McKinney from the Unfuckers, I love them all. She just said, Transpicuous News Geomagnetic Update, July 1st, 2019. She posted this about 40 minutes ago. As I promised at the end of yesterday's Geomagnetic Update, I've been watching the feeds very closely. She means the different graphs, the magnetosphere as well as the Schumann. And she says, yep, more insanity. This time it is the magnetopause that went ballistic, showing huge compression again, but also insane distortions to the magnetopause that have been going on for hours all day today. Unfortunately, as I've said in the video, the live feed graphs just keep going down, which makes it very difficult to follow what's happening as it's happening. Yeah. So I was just prompted to mention that because I, you know, I, I don't particularly need to see the charts and the confirmation. My body tells me what's going on, but you know, it's it's showing up. So, um, what was the other thing you said? That something pinged. I mean, it all pinged, but something really pinged. Well, it's like two sets of rules. Um, we can actually, I'm not advocating this for anybody at all. I'm just saying 
seen, I, I've been feeling it for months and months. And I've asked the question on the show a few times. I've asked it the last couple of days from people. Uh, how does that work? You know, when do these laws stop applying to us? When do these contracts stop applying to us? When does the, uh, um, the falsity of the debt-based financial system stop applying to us? Um, somehow or another, I know that inherently we have the authority to take that power back. But how does that look? I mean, do we protest, march, boycott? No. I think it's it's all more than ever. It's it's important to be sensitive to what you're feeling, what we're feeling, and and just handling that. Not so much as oh, what is this? What what is this? And what is that? But just like I, I'm not saying I, I'm right, but as I went through this just a couple of minutes ago, I just surrendered, surrendered, and I'm starting to level off. But if an intelligence told me this is not you, you're feeling it's you and everybody else because you guys are all aligning. And you're going through the same thing. And that's that's the wisdom. It's just simple, that simple, that it's actually validating and clarifying uh, what you're going through. Um, and that awareness is, is, I don't want to say that's all that you need, but it certainly helps. At least it's helping me. Yeah, well, the, one of the things you said was, yeah, about when you said it like the yin and yang to do with that separation and merging and i thought yeah that's perfect that the, the the yin and the yang of it, it it's, yeah. it's um and the other thing oh, it keeps coming and i keep losing it you said oh man that's funny the way it keeps coming and I, the moment that's I'm, part of it that's part of yeah. it losing all that memory yeah losing memory oh i know what it was you said it perfectly about in a sense I can't remember exact words you said, but in a sense, the gist of what I got is about we're experiencing it. We feel it first. We don't know ahead what it is. We get to experience. And then what I was going to say is, I'm guessing, I mean, you can tell me, but I know for me that in all my life, all of the major breakthroughs, the real ongoing changes, the real permanent ones, it was always in a sense, the experience came first and the understanding came later. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I know in my own right and a lot of other people's uh, a good example of that is uh, stuff that they express, you know, like they get a download or you know, some sacred wisdom comes through or whatever it may be. And you put it out there. But we haven't actually haven't embodied it. You know, and that's not a bad thing. It's just it comes in, you put it out there, and then later on you embody it either consciously or unconsciously. So it is, yeah, it's like that information travels. It's kind of like light, you know, light. You look at a star, what you're seeing is, you know, what you're seeing comes first. The actual energy of it comes second. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Oh, I just want to say too, say hello to everyone. And um, for those that I'll say again, that didn't see me last time. I, I don't watch, I, I'd love to see them, but I don't, well, I can try, but I don't normally really watch the Facebook feed and comments because I really have trouble kind of doing this and focusing on that, splitting my focus on that. So I always go back and read them later, but or trust to Todd to pick up anything he's prompted to mention in that. But I just wanted to say I'm not ignoring people if they're. We got you. So, so I had the uh, impression uh, five minutes ago, as this was all coming through me, uh, to see if you want to tap in in the moment, in the now moment, tap in and see or tap in together, whatever. Or see what you pick up on and we can pick up on. Yeah, well, that's what I'm kind of attempting to do. Um, it's interesting because I, I don't scroll much on feeds or Facebook or that, but I happen to see the top couple of posts. One was Danny's, and, and this this is another one from Ajashani, and I feel it's really relevant to actually say this because it nailed it from what we're talking. And before I speak, what I might get, he said, truth has a very high standard. Truth is not a plaything. 
To tell what is true within ourselves is not to tell what we think. It is not to tell our opinion. It is not to dump the garbage can of our mind onto somebody else. All that is illusion, distortion, projection. Truth is not unloading our opinions onto someone. That is not truth. Truth is not telling our beliefs about things. That is not truth. Those are ways that we can actually hide from truth. Yeah. So what is truth? Our feelings? What are we, what we are feeling beyond, or maybe to include the emotions and beyond the emotions? Yeah, I think, well, I think it's all of it. I think it's all of it. So, okay, let, let's, let's, this is coming to me. So let, let's try this. And this is, this was sort of pinged by something you said as well. So little, little quick, direct experiential thing, whoever wants to try this or feel into it. So, you know, we're both getting body symptoms, different stuff going on, the achy stuff. So feel, if we feel what we think of as just our body, so like tune into our body and what we're actually, and we don't have to name it or talk about it, but just tune in and, and experience what we're feeling in what we think of as the body at that level. Oh, I got and, it. Yep. So just be. <laughs> Did you get it? Well, I, well, this keep, is, go, keep going. There's a there's something to this. So so for everyone, just just that, just to feel into that. Don't have to be big details, you know. Just feel into what you think of as your body. Feel into that. And now, feel into the emotion, the emotional body. Feel into what you're feeling of that. Yeah. And already you may be seeing, you know, as tuning into those is distinct, but is there a, is there a fixed line where you can separate one from the other? And then, feel, and then feel into what you might think of as the mind or the mental plane, the mental body. What thoughts are going on? Feel and look into that. and then again in a way is is there you know as you do that process for me i, I not know i don't and I, I want each to experience their own experience but again it's kind of funny because we kind of know where to go in a way or what do i feel in my body and the emotion but as we do each one for me in a sense they also they're distinct but there's also a clarity that Actually, there's a level where they meet, where they merge, where they're, they're aspects of the one. And then if we go with that, we feel into, and this is, we'll use this word, replace whatever word people want to use, but then feel into, let's say, our spirit or our soul. Let's use that word. Let's feel into our soul body, our soul. And what are we feeling and experiencing there? And then, in a way, what is, what is it that is aware of that, that is experiencing all those things? And for me, in that process, there's, in the moving through those and then out to the awareness of those, one finds, and this is part of the reason I was prompted to do this just, just right now, is that what I'm getting, a lot of the essence of what's going on now is the key word integration. Yeah, that's, that sounds right. That, that sounds right. Expl integration without explanation. <laughs> the explanation, yeah. maybe the explanation or the uh, trying to explain beyond a certain point is is taxing on the different bodies you're talking about. I feel like a, a, a huge, uh, when I tune into the body, a, a huge, uh, what would the word be? <clears throat> like a huge 
force in my solar plexus that's somehow or another emanating through my heart like a like a bee like that up into my throat chakra to the point where I'm nauseated I feel like I'm gonna throw up uh, mentally I would say my impression was I'm tired you know it's been a long long run for all of us and I know we've told the universe many, many times how tired we were, uh, and it's always come through. Something feels different. Uh, I am tired. Um, but somehow or another, I know things are different. You know, if I draw the analogy of what people uh, discuss as disclosure, potential disclosure, and I'll probably piss a few people off. That's okay. I'm just making a point. It's not about what I'm talking about. It's an analogy. So we're all waiting, you know, for Q to drop the bombs and for these people to be arrested and for secret space program to be disclosed and who killed JFK and what's the world really, how do, how's the world really run? Uh, when is the, the, the event going to come? And the universe is going to blink our uh, blink its eye at us, and we're all walking on water like Jesus. Uh, all that stuff is—I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of waiting. There ain't nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. So if I had use that as an analogy, I think with what you described, I would describe it as yeah. I feel I feel an integration and an alignment without explanation. And and you do have to take into consideration all the different bodies. Uh, because they all have a piece of it. And I think that what it is, maybe, maybe, is that the uncomfortableness is the human, the final, the first and the final, the alpha and the omega, the human hybrid soul aligning on the front end and the back end. You know, I remember, and this is just metaphoric, I remember, it's extremely metaphoric, what I'm about to tell you. I remember when I woke up and I was introduced to the 12 godfathers of the earth. And this was just the universe explaining some type of code to me. That's all it was. But it said that uh, it said that Yeshua was in the twelfth chair. Even though Yeshua wasn't from here, he came from somewhere between the twelve godfathers of the earth and the hand of God. Poof, he was he was created. My point is, is that he, in, for all intents and purposes. That energy, that representation of Christ consciousness stood in the first chair and the 12th chair. You know, so I see kind of like that's how the human is. The human is both the lowest and the highest. And there's something about this alignment that's pulling both together. Um, and see, just having said that, I feel better. So there's got to be some truth to it. We're aligning. We're integrating, like you said. And that's, yeah. It's alignment. That's perfect word to put to it too. It's both the alignment and the integration. So, <clears throat> what you said is that, or what is truth? And what a great question. And and is it the emotional? Is it feeling into that? Is it this? Is it that? And that's when I was prompted for that process. In a sense, I said it's all of it. It's all of it. But then the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So it's all of it. But it's not to be found. The whole of it can't be found in any of it. So it's all of it. But we're moving through. It's happening in the grids within our field in a sense to me is if you look at there, there's a million zillion timelines there's a million zillion you know fractals and codes and pieces of information and stories and histories i mean you know how many versions of the world how many histories do do, do, do we have and all of that i feel is is merging and integrating and sifting and sorting. And we're all experiencing that within ourselves. And I feel that the, the, the and they're saying this is what you said essentially is just, I know it sounds corny and cliched, but, the, but Lee is laughing. The, they're saying really, again, it is just a little longer, just trust and, and trust in your own innocence. And that even the word inner sense, innocence and inner sense, there's a whole lot integrating and it's just like not focusing on any particular detail. It yeah. isn't about understanding the information of any particular detail. It's almost just like letting that flow be in the flow as the flow. And it merges and moves to, to something 
in a sense, to the finite moves to the infinite. And that it's, it's, I don't know how to put this in words, but it's really so simple, but it's, it's kind of the all it is, the everything, but it's very simple, natural here and now, organic. It just is, it's what we are. Okay, so that just came with the word. So all of those aspects, now, physical, emotional, mental, all of that, a soul, all of that, it's the merging, merging, merging into, into where we really, it's just awareness. We become directly experientially aware, not just the concept, of simply our beingness. It's just the beingness. It's the living being. Yeah. And I think and, that's, yeah. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. I just want to say, so in a way, it's sort of, it's, it's a whole sphere, but it's whole and complete. And, and what they're sort of saying I'm getting is, is that we're very, very close and we're still experiencing a lot of the, in a sense, the turbulence and can be tensions and things of that integration process, but we're already well on the way to the, 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 the more you can just let go and trust and feel into the, the, the process itself, the energy of that, which already in a way is merged, is integrated, which is simply our own beingness. Um, but they're saying that when that, that process is complete, there's like a, um, it's alchemical. It's an alchemical transformation to where you get to feel that whole. And in, in a way then all of the information that's relative that's still relative because a lot will fall away as old storylines that were a part of the process of where we are now. They're contained within, but in another way, they're, they're no longer relevant to now. Yeah. But, yeah. but that, that they're basically saying, yeah, simple analogy. They're saying it really is like, we, you know, we, it's like getting down to the last few pages of a book and, thinking there's another chapter or something and you turn the page and it's a blank, it's a blank page that, 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 that it's a new, it's a new story. So in a way, everything old is new again. Sorry, I'm really, I'm doing badly with bringing through the words. Yeah, it's not, it's the frequency, uh, it's the frequency. It's not the words or what we say. It's the so, sorry, go on. No, I'm going to say this. All right. So without being disrespectful to the universe or anything or anyone, it, it, it's like fucking Groundhog Day, you know? And, and I will say that to the universe. I will say that to the angelics and the galactics, just a little bit longer, bullshit. I'm sorry, bullshit. We have dominion, we have sovereignty. So it's not about us arriving to the moment. It's about bringing the moment to us. And I think it's going to take some real balls to do that, at least in the first wave. And there's been many first waves. And there's been a lot of people to have the courage to get us to where we're at. Uh, but this this almost their thing, and I'm not discrediting you or, or being the devil's advocate. I'm just saying we it, this is this is our choice. This is our choice, and that choice stems from our individual experiences at the circles closest to us, which is first and foremost ourself, center of the universe. I'm tired of waiting. I'm damn sure tired of waiting on anything on the external. Like, I don't want to hear about a financial reset. I don't want to hear about Nassara. I don't want to hear about Q, and I'm sorry. I know that's going to piss some people off because that is not my reality. My reality is, is my work, my relationship, my friends, my family, my passions, what brings me bliss, where I live, what I do every day. I mean, this is the infinite, beautiful simplicity of it all, rather than the finite complications that come at us, either from the physical global stage or family dramas or the non-physical essences and other aspects of us that communicate with us and give us this knowledge and wisdom and such. It's all stories. It's all stories. We have dominion. We have sovereignty. We can bring the moment to us. And in this, in this realm where we're in this transition between, let's say, 3D, 5D, physical, non-physical, it hasn't been done before. So 
So it's a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit of uh, having that uh, universal umbilical cord, you know, coming through our solars, holding on to what is what is always one, and also taking some type of actions, uh, certainly stemming from our thoughts in the physical. Uh, I, I'm tired of waiting. Uh, we can bring the moment to us. That only makes sense because in this universe, as we all know, and we've heard from our friends, brothers and sisters who down, download and channel, if we use the metaphor again, or the analogy or whatever of the galactics, well, they're here, but they can't land. Or they're here, but they can't interfere. It's against universal law. So what makes you think that this experience is any different? That some something or someone's going to come in and, and, and bring the moment to us. That's why I don't even buy into the 26,000 year cycle and all that stuff. How do I know that's not programming? How do I know ascension's not a program? What I do know is what's happened in my life through manifestation, through alignment, uh, through a network, uh, a grid of like-minded souls, whatever you want to call it, what's actually happening and the profundity of that. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing these stories that are happening all around the world and, and happening in the moment, you know, so... I don't know. That's a little convoluted, but I just feel like it's, we can bring the moment to us. No, it's, I, it's, it's perfect. I, I think that it's perfect. I'm getting chills and shivers as you, as you were saying it. And, and I've been, I totally relate. I totally relate. And, and I feel that that, that, for want of words, there's an energy of, let's say, frustration is actually a very powerful force. And that's a part of what is bringing this into the now, is, is dancing this away. And that that's, it's important. This is a part of it, as you said, we bring it to us. And it's not waiting. It's, not, it's, it's from not a place of waiting, as you said, for something to happen in the future or external or this or that. And I agree. I, look, I've, I've, and I'm not knocking anybody of this, but for me, I've never had, I've never had any resonance or interest in the whole financial reset stuff or that, right? All of the rest. And, and what, with all of what you're saying, the gist to me is, and that's a lot of what I've been feeling in these weeks. And I, I haven't even, and not, not because, you know, I don't listen to a lot out there and haven't for a long time. Sology, <laughs> your conversation that people have is, one of the few and only things that I listen to and I don't listen to all and every one and it's not because any or less value or that it's just where I'm at and what's what's I'm meant to hear or not I have to say in the last couple of weeks and particularly in the last week I haven't even listened to much of I think I listened to your conversation with Nikki yesterday that was that I thought that was really useful and important right in the now too and I'm sure the others have been too but it's part of that I can't take more in. It's like I'm not meant to be taking more in. I'm, I'm, it's as if I'm already getting so much or deep in the process of integration. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of digressing a bit. But the gist of what I was going to say, what you said perfectly, I think, is in a way they're all, even the best of them, that are brought us to this point, even the best of the tools and the storylines, it's like the old analogy about the, about the raft, that you've used the raft to get across the river. Once you're on the other bank, do you, do you, go, do you carry, pick up and carry the raft along your bank and the bank as you're on the other side walking? No, you leave the raft at the river. And I feel like that's in a way part of the challenge and part of what's going on is, as you said it, like all of the... All of the old stories or all of the old knowings, all of the old frameworks or ideas or paradigms or whatever, however, however much or little of value they were, and they all served as, anyway, you said it, it, it it's kind of like we don't know anymore. They're not, they're not, we're at a point where they got us to hear but in a way, none of those things can 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 move us forward from here. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, what served you, who served you, what served you, to get to a certain point isn't necessarily going to be what serves you from that point to the next threshold, or the next uh, gateway or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. 
definitely. And Can yet, I, sorry. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I was just going to say too, and yet about all this, and this was part of the feeling into what's already there, the us that is already there, the beingness that we are, always was. I've lost it again. <laughs> okay, that's what's happening. It's part of this uh, little transition we're going through. Because it is having an effect on our bodies. You know, and this, this whole thing about, you know, conversion from carbon-based body to a light body is a very real thing. People are experiencing it all over the world and have been. Uh, but I think at some point, using that as an example, whatever aspect of this transition we call ascension, you want to take into consideration. You hear people talking about it. You might even channel something or download something or transmit something. But there's a certain place where that reality really takes root and say, oh, shit, this is really happening. This is not just a bunch of rhetoric. This isn't just a fad. This is actually happening. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we are eternal. But what level of proof do I have? I've got no proof, uh, whether it's a divine essence experience or uh, whatever. What I do have proof of is that I'm I'm here and I'm alive. That's all the eternity that I need, which tells me that that that's where my focus should be. You know, uh, well that'd be that's in my best interest. That's where my creativity is at its peak, and my love and my courage and my strength and my power is is actually honoring that way past the cliche. You know, which is which is new territory. I, I have to say, it's a part relaxation, you know, part uh, detachment, uh, part imagination, you know, or at least aligning at some conscious level of what do I want in my life, and having the faith that there's nothing out there that can stop you from having that. Yeah, it's it, it's it's. The aliveness, as you said, it's just the living being. It's the aliveness in the now. And, you know, so we talked about last time, but it, it's all, <laughs> that's what I was going to say before. It just came back to me. There's a, there's a strangeness to it all of late, very much, mm -hmm. I think, or the last yeah. month. And yet, mm -hmm. and there is. Mm -hmm. And yet, because it, in a way, it's all new, and it is. As you said, we've never done this before, and it is. We're at the point very much. This year was about that. Is very much the actual embodiment of it, the living of it, the proof of dancing that, bringing that awake into this reality. Not, not as a myth, not as a story, not as a, as as an actual living, expressed reality, together, yeah. communally. And yet also, and this is the big part too, or part of the key of, you said it, of the not waiting for something or somebody, something external, is <clears throat> that there is also, for me at least, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing for many others, you probably will like, there is an incredible familiarity about it as well, isn't there? Even though that there's this strangeness, isn't, isn't there almost this, slowly waking to a reality that actually we know. Yeah. It's actually the real reality, the, 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 the ground of the organic, what's just simply real. So yeah. in, in, a, in a way, it's, in, it's, incredibly, it's incredibly ancient and deep and familiar to us, yeah. and yet it's alive now. It's being created now. The story's not written yet. Now we're writing it. So the anyway there's something about that and that that's linked to that's part of the process of that that feeling into through all that and the integration and alignment to the to the to that something that i you know i don't know words better than what you said is just that that somehow that aliveness that wholeness and within that which it's we do we do know that because it's actually I don't want to say higher, the greater truth, 
of what we are. The, the, the whole, the more holistic truth, the whole that's greater than the sum of the parts. Yeah. And, and that's a seeming paradox of it's always that, 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 that living breath that aliveness, the soul, the beingness is always new and fresh. Yeah. It's, it's, that's where the creativity is, as you said. That's, so it's, it's, it's what I said last time a bit about that. I can't put it, you know, the knowing of the unknowing. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, again, struggling with words, but no, yeah, okay. you know what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to express. Okay way that can't it can't really be expressed it's that which can't really be put into words and grasp but we can point towards it but but you know that place which is pointing towards is is is, is to point from that as well to feel into that and and anyway it's there was just something about that gist that it's incredibly strange and unknown and new and yet there's something incredibly familiar. And that was the point they were trying to make in that was to, in a way was to feel into that familiarity yeah. of that. Yeah. Morgan and I use the word through some things that will happen eerie. You know, and so it's not evil or scary. It's just strange. Like you said, it's strange, but familiar. Like, you know, this is why we've been following this, this, uh, our own, all of our own personal guidance uh, and to different degrees as time has gone on, detaching from what wasn't real. So there's this, there's this strangeness, this eeriness of what's happening, uh, even though we know we're on the right path, all of us. And that's what you were talking about. It's a little bit strange. It's a little bit uncomfortable. It's wild strange, frightening, but there is, there is, you know, there is source, there is God, goddess, there is soul, or there is nothing. There is no in between. And, uh, and, we're, and when our feet are being put to the fire, to take that to uh, possibly, you know, theoretically, the, the furthest extent in this moment up to this point that it's ever experienced before. I really believe that. I really believe we're creating the new template, the new book, uh, the new blueprint for the next round. Yeah, you just, it's funny, you just ping me. I, I want to say too, I just felt I meant to say it before. I feel like, I feel like we're doing some heavy lifting today. Mm, that feels you know, right. That feels right. Between us. I feel that there, there, there's a level of, hmm. It's deep, and there is a level of a certain level of it's almost like part. It's almost like buried in rock, pushing rock open. It's that level of, and that's where that frustration and that can help too to have the energy to move this. But there's also well, with that a lot of a, a sludginess. I get the word sludginess, and to do with what you were saying a bit like the the. Oh, again, still really the same old, aren't we done with this? Aren't we moving on? There's a certain, and I, and I, I just feel like while we've been talking, I feel like there's a, there's a lot of energy going on and moving within me and with this. And I feel like where there's a, there's in a way a, a heaviness, even though there's a lightness, there's a certain heaviness with this conversation, but I feel like it's, 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 it's great because I feel like we're, we're, we're helping to move that heavy. Now. Anyway, I don't know why I said that, but I was just prompt to say that. But No, I, I, I pick up on that. And the energy of everybody here that we're all creating, it's like a, a transformation, transmutation, yeah. transformation, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've yeah. collectively, yeah. We're, yeah. we're doing big alchemy at the moment somehow. Yeah. So, And I agree. And, I'm, and I'm, I've been caught up in it. And I'm, I'm just tired of it. And that's, I can go back to... Um, Yesterday, three months ago, six months ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago. A lot of the stuff you're seeing is saying the same damn thing over and over again. And there's that carrot on the stick. I really think that at some point, and I think everything that comes at us in this realm has a yin and yang. So a blessing's a burden, a burden's a blessing. You know, 
too much light brings the same uh, as too much, too much what we call darkness. You know, too much light. What does that say? A bunch of attention thrown on you, fame and fortune thrown on you. What does that do? Is that serving the soul or the ego? It's actually serving both. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying that that everything, I'm not discounting things that people write or you get or I get or anything. I'm not. It's all vital and it's all part of it. But at some point, back to what you were saying, these things that have served us to a point are not going to take us further. So we, that's a, that's a being stuck. And there's a lot of that going on the last 30 days, people being stuck, you know, people talking about that discontent. Um, but I really believe the answer is in our own self-reliance and ownership uh, and disengagement, detachment from anything and everything that carries a frequency where I'm going to save your ass for you. Uh, that I'm going to do it for you, or this is going to happen, or Nibiru is going to come, or two stars with one blue and one red star are going to turn into one, or whatever the case is. I'm sure there's a fascinating, incredible lineage that we all share that includes inner earth, outer earth, outer space, and other universes. And it is all familiar. But right now, we're conscious here, doing some type of conversion, transmutation, transformation, that is, that is, the vital ingredient is the self-reliance, the self-responsibility, the self-creation, which is now kind of blossoming into collaboration and co-creation. And I think that's a big, big key. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I, I have the sense strongly while you're speaking too of that. A lot of what we're struggling with, I feel is the expression of it. The, what you said a lot in the solar plexus, the almost the nausea, the, but I, re I really feel there's this like, there's this glut, but, and so much of it is just, you know, the, the old we're done with, we're done with. But I feel like a lot of it is too, is just that that impetus almost of this, this soul yearning in a way, this true soul need to, to somehow bring this forth, to birth this, to really dance it away, to really bring, bring that into reality. As you said, us bringing that moment to here now, us expressing that, creating that. And I, and I feel that there's almost, I can feel almost in, in then at the throat, there's almost. A, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. That that's right. I can feel it with you today as well. Yeah. And with, I feel, there's a, and I feel like that's the heavy lift we're doing. We're, we're, we're kind of working through to help get to the point where we can help. It's kind of like, the, it's kind of like the throat chakra is constipated. <laughs> yeah, per, yes, 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 yes. But you, know, but, you know, that's a really good, what you're saying is a lot of people I've talked to on the show and in my life and my own, I've always had this innate thing. And I know everybody can, can uh, relate to this of something inside of you that had to come out like that, that purpose, that reason we're here. And I think that's what you're describing. It's like, we are, we are close. We are close. And how do we break through that? How do we unconstipate the throat chakra? And how do we start to release that? And maybe it's just as simple as having these conversations, being privy and listening to other people's conversations. And, and, uh, and just, again, going back to what you said at the top of the show, speaking truth. You know, just whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you're talking about. Just speak the truth. Yeah. You want to do some light language before we get out of here? Um, yeah, let's see what comes. I will, the, the one thing I keep getting prompted, I'm going to say, just not long before, well, I was still lying in bed, but I was, I was awake. And, um, and it was like, oh yeah, Todd today, and I was like, oh, I'm pretty tired and all of that. And, and, and you know, a bit sludgy and everything. And um, <laughs> I used to think this is funny, but <laughs> Freddie popped in. <laughs> Freddie, like from Friday the 13th, or what is it called? Uh, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> oh, Freddie Mercury popped in. 
He's doing a lot of work with a lot of people. I, 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 you know, he came in once quite a while back and quite strongly for day. And like, that was really interesting. Wow. That's fine. I always knew he was an interesting song. But anyway, so out of the blue, like he popped in this morning and that was really funny. And then you said it early on in the show and it really reminded me then about, and what he, and what came was the song, the show must go on. <laughs> and it was so funny because anyway, I was just, I was prompted to mention that also because of the lightness of it and 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 the humor and uh, but also just this uh, it doesn't matter how ha ha how you feel. I know I wasn't like reluctant, like oh, I don't want to do the show. I feel like crap, but there, you know there was just the element of oh, I, I need to get up and do that. Anyway, I just I was prompted to just mention that to you because. Just to mention him, that was, that was funny and that that energy. Anyway, I won't say more on that. But he he's right on. Um, right on. Oh man, there is something still. We're like teasing it to come through to to try and express. So let's just see what comes, and with yeah, our light language might be key. Let's just see. I'm certainly not doing real well with normal words. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can either you can either do that or sing Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's a bit beyond me. Um, or whatever you, whatever resonates with you. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just tuning in. I mean, a while ago the Dolphins came in to bring more lightness in, and and they're kind of there in my team, and I, and I'm kind of feeling like that sense when I know you know, there's kind of something they're pointing at or bring my awareness to, and it's just tuning into in a sense what it is or how that wants to come through. So, but maybe that's it. Just you said it. Maybe that's it. Just to let light language flow, because that so often opens me up to. A cinto malinto son, chantinino o compa, chini, cinchintin, in a more pompa, chantan, a more son poor. They want my tunes with this today. That's interesting. Okay. A cinto malito no chantimi. Oh, that's funny too. Some of the old classic songs are, are soul tunes. They've got codes in them. People tapped into them. And this is one of them that was always resonant with me and often. And this is it. The tune that's coming is the old. um whatever his name was, something Martin's, Streets of Laredo, anyway. <clears throat> That's interesting. And I realized throughout my life I've, I've like sung tunes like that, you know, when you're alone and it's, I don't know if it's light language, but it's kind of the phonetics are not earthbound, let me say that. <clears throat> so Yeah, I just like <sighs> yeah. called it energy. Yeah. Um oh man, there is there is that that's leading to it. There, there, uh, there's something, it's there's like a ball of light, there's something that's like still that's helping to unlock. I don't know, are we are we up up for time? Because I'm really feeling like there's like this some something that's trying to come through that's like a breakthrough we've always been working towards and I, and I'm and I'm I'm still trying to feel into how or what or why to bring it through. So yeah. Maybe you'll yeah. need to bring it through. We got maybe. about yeah, I gotta go to the bank today. I have to go enter the uh, oh no, I'm not gonna say that. I have an appointment. <laughs> so but we still got yeah, go another 10 minutes. If you think you can pull it through, I'm here. I'll hold space for you. Well, as I said, maybe, maybe you know, it's co-creation and all of this. Well, it could be co-creations. Uh, I actually had a vision of that before we did the show, before I started feeling nauseated. Uh, I didn't know what it would be. But uh, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel a little bit uh, tender at the moment. <laughs> you know, so but that's what the best time, right? When you're raw, when your sensitivities at you know peaking and vulnerable, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not. That's it. And I mean, that's totally. It's it's about what's happening now. You know. Yeah. Yeah. In this 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 moment, this energy now, however it is, um, not trying to present a, a brave or face or whatever. It's just, you know. But I, I mean, I feel. I mean, through all this, I haven't had. I can't say I've had particularly heavy days or really heavy personal stuff. It's just, yeah. and yeah. even now through our conversation, like feel like yeah, there's some there's some heavy lifting we're doing but i but i've also felt a lot of lightness through it and with it yeah that's transmuting but to me that's what that is i mean transforming so and maybe it's just something as uh i don't know so i'll just take a stab at it so uh because that there's definitely power extraordinary power far beyond one plus one equals two when we have two or more gathered right and one thing I noticed at the beginning of the show, from the beginning of the show, is everybody was pretty much on the way, the same wavelength, which involved the heart, uh, power, which would be the solar, uh, sadness, achiness. Uh, a lot of people were talking the same thing. So, you know, uh, I'd, I'd look at, you know, when I started writing, uh, hey, we all have one thing in common. Uh, it's a common denominator, is common denominator in all philosophies, religions. Da, 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 da. There's a common thread. I am so. But I realize now, as the days have gone by, the value of what we also have in common, which is the amnesiac human hybrid soul, who's gone through all these gifts, which we will understand more fully when we get to beyond this, uh, the belief systems of this, you know, fully of this matrix or this conditioning. That's what we have in common. What we have in common is that we take a moment, you know, I have my own uh, concerns, my own uh, things I'm dealing with as we all do. And we, I think we can take some, uh, you know, there's some solace in, in that we all are going through the same thing. But we also have been exposed enough to the magic of what we are, who we are, and what we're part of to know and have converted enough of that energy, that frustration uh, into magic. More and more people are doing it. So I'm just saying, you know, this is not the time to slow up. This is the time to pull that moment to us. And if that means, uh, you know, hold in the field a little bit longer, whatever that means to you, then that's so be it. Uh, we've come too far. We have come way too far. We're not just representing ourselves and each other. We're representing the entire universe. You know, we really are. Your turn. Yeah, perfect. Uh, it just comes to me with that, 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 that exactly, you know, that just to share it's the coming together is, it's not just a reminder, it's what we're about as human beings. It's reawakening to the, it's a part of our innate nature and magic and our soul is to be connected, is, is shared experience, is shared connection. Yeah, exactly. Um, and to remind people that they're not actually alone at all so that's that's a big part of it the other thing that just comes is 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 about that we're not as much as it shades of or traces can feel like stuckness or oh man this old stuff i thought i'd cleared ages ago like this up again they're basically saying there's no they're not there's none of us is not backsliding we're not stuck we're not recycling around and around they're saying we're exactly in the well into the embodiment of the new. Yeah. That's why 
we're feeling so much of what we're feeling and the strangers and yeah and this thing of this yet finding the way to express the form of expression where you said that's one of the best ways us connecting but that that we're 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 already in a sense doing that but yeah it's coming to that then that 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 will come and that's what i'm feeling like today maybe maybe the maybe that's maybe that's one of the most important aspects of our conversation today is for others to relate and feel and see that they're not alone and that hey you know we we've done some heavy lifting today did we did we break through completely into full you know lightness of being yeah no not yet but that's the whole point is to is that is that it's it's there to show others that yeah just it's coming just keep yeah. feeling into it it's it's pull it in <laughs> let's pull it in yeah I'm gonna wait on that thing. all right yeah. brother i'm gonna go i'm gonna go uh and balance myself <laughs> yeah go get ready to go have a 3d experience <laughs> much, much much love awesome to connect with you again and love to all and much love to morgan of course thank you jed See you again. We'll do it again. Take care.